Hello everybody and welcome. So, we are looking at my uh, Onda tablet, as you can see. And right now, I just freshly restarted it. So, you can see temperatures are fairly low. Um, we're looking right around uh, uh, 32... I don't know. It's uh, jumping quite drastically. So two cores are at 40 degrees and two cores are at 20 degrees and now they're all starting to go up to 41 and our CPU usage is at 50. So something's going on in the background. Not really sure what. Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and start this. Let this run for... Well, whoops. Let's clear it. Okay. Alrighty. So that was kind of odd. And I ran out of memory, go figure. Because I'm stressing the memory. And I'm not even angled. Alright, so I'm going to let this run for five minutes. And I'll see you in a second. Okay, so here we are looking at uh, whoop, 5 minutes and 30 seconds. And I'm going to go ahead and leave it run so we can see what temperatures are. So we are looking at 40C for the motherboard. The GT core is 61. The CPU package is at roughly about 70 and the other two temperatures are at 40 so what I'm going to do is let me give you a good shot of the temps is I'm gonna go ahead and stop the stress test and we're going to go ahead and I'm putting you on a mon uh, tripod so I can open this up and let's try to make this thermally better Okay, so it just shut down, so I'm going to go ahead and run my fingernail along the edge of the device to pop off the frame that connects the glass to the metal back. And once I do that, it just simply falls right out, basically. Okay. So, my plan is to take this um, one millimeter thick uh, thermal uh, b -b -b pad and just stick it right there. Of course, I'm going to have to resize it. So, what I'm planning on doing is right under this capped on tape here. pulled out there is a piece of copper that's just kind of laying here uh, yeah that right there that is what we will be removing so this capped on tape is just in my way so let's go ahead and move that out of the way and now I'm going to just lift this corner up and we're going to go ahead and just peel this back. So underneath this is the CPU. Actually, the case is open. So we should be able to... Come on. The tape there is in the way. Okay. Let's try that now. So this is just held down by some little metal clasps on the motherboard. Alright, and we'll lift that up. And there you can see what's under it. So we have our 2 gigabytes of RAM, our 4C 
uh, SSD, and we have some thermal pads. So I'm just trying to remove this metal from the tape here because that's actually going to be in our way. Okay. So, yeah, you can see it all. So this is our processor. This is our uh, SSD. These are our RAM chips. This is our AXP28. Oh, actually, 288C. That is our power delivery system. This is our Wi-Fi. Here's our two cameras. Uh, SD card, microphone. So, if you ever plan on using the microphone in this, you might have to drill a hole through the glass. Because the microphone in this is just mounted in the uh, frame right here. So it's very, very muffled, and the camera is just abysmal. So, I'm going to go ahead and stick this back down. Let me get this piece of tape out of the way. Okay. So, all you got to do is line these back up to the edges. And there's your thermal pads. And we're going to make our connection to the outside of this because it's already... Uh, got thermal pads on it so let me get this back on get this cut and we'll be back okay so here is our thermal pad I've cut it to roughly the size I need a uh, little oversized won't make much of a difference so we're just going to go ahead and place this right there and again, just push it down to make sure it sticks all right. And we'll go ahead and lift up our second piece of plastic here. If you don't take off the second piece of plastic, this won't do anything. <laughs> it might help a little bit, but it won't make much of a difference. Anyways, let's stick our capped on tape back down it's just so the battery doesn't short out on anything that's all that's really there for so we're going to go ahead and set that back in its case get it all nice and lined up and just slowly clip everything back in and if you have a clip that doesn't want to go in just find a screwdriver and push the plastic in on it. You do not want to force it, because if you do force it, you will most likely shatter your screen. That's what happened to me. So, we'll go ahead and turn this back on, and I'll be back once it's done. Boot it up. All right, so let me make sure that we're in frame here alrighty so now you can see the temperatures are a little high but that is because right now our CPU is just going nuts for whatever reason so we're gonna let this kinda well actually it just kinda settled out so we're gonna go ahead and start the stress test and again We'll be back in five minutes. Okay. So, let's go ahead and drop out a full screen. And as you can see, our temperatures are still at 70 degrees C. And there is a reason that the gap between the CPU and the rear of the uh, case must be two millimeters. So I'm going to go ahead and take this apart and put on another piece of this to try and get this to thermally 
sync up with the back of the case. So while this is running, it will make the tablet itself warmer, but it shouldn't get so hot that it's uncomfortable. So let's try that. Be right back. Okay, and we're back. So I'm going to go ahead and start the test again. And we'll leave it for another five minutes. Let's see what happens. Okay, so it has been five minutes. Four minutes, sorry. And there's our temperatures. So they have went down, but sadly not considerably. I mean, they were 70 degrees and now they're at 68. And I can feel the case is a little bit warmer, but nothing spectacular. So sadly, doesn't look like I was able to improve it by a lot, but it did improve, but not by a lot. So, uh, let's get you moved here. Uh, zoom out. Oh, yeah, you're looking at my belly. Okay. Hi. Um, ew, I'm not in focus. Focus, you fuck. There we go. Um... Just wanted to say thank you for watching. If you like the video, hit that like button. If you dislike the video, well, you know what to do. And as always, you'll see me in the next video. If you want to subscribe, eh, it's somewhere up in here. If you want to watch some more videos, they're right here. So, thanks for watching. Bye!